What's going on guys man, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy J4 man, we back with another one. This is one of the cons of running 14 wires like this. I don't know if you can see how dirty this truck is. It rained the other day and it got super filthy as I was driving around in the rain making a video of how on these versatile tires. Look at that. Rocks stuck inside the tires. Slain. Slain dirt everywhere. You guys see the title of this video. Basically, we're going over the top three mods that you could be doing to your F-150 right now. So let's start off with number one thing. First thing you should do to your truck, as soon as you get it, is debadge it if it hasn't already been debadged. You want to take these stickers off. Well, mine's already gone, so you ain't going to see. But it'll look a whole lot better. Obviously, my truck is a little dirty right now, so you're not going to really be able to tell. But it'll look a lot better. It'll give the truck a clean look. Uh, if you got the EcoBoost uh, tag, the EcoBoost bags down at the bottom down here, take that off. Um, then they won't know. They won't be able to tell whether you got an EcoBoost or a 50 unless until they ride past. Well, until you ride past somebody. So <clears throat> take that off as soon as you get the truck. Second, second thing. This is something that most people probably won't agree with. Take the running boards off, man. It look a lot cleaner. If you, if you have the uh, power steps, then obviously you leave those on because it look like you don't have them on once you, you know, once they up. But if you have the regular running boards, the stock running boards, take them off. It, I promise you, you'll like the look of it. It look a lot clean. I know some people love the look of the running boards, but me personally, in my opinion, I didn't like really like them like that. Another one. I know a lot of people tend to plastic dip this back, the F-150 back, but you can actually. DIY paint this yourself you just have to go to the store go get a, a few cans of paint perfect match paint and and you can have a you know what I'm saying you can paint the match yourself easy at home it's not nothing hard I got a few minor imperfections I've mentioned in other videos as well but it really wasn't hard at all it just took me about a day I, I sprayed it out with multiple days because I was doing other stuff as well but it actually came out pretty good. The blue on it, dang, can you see that? Yeah. The blue on it matches my suspension. And obviously you can tell the gray matches the color of the truck. So you can get a can of Perfect Match uh, spray paint for the forward colors uh, at AutoZone or Advanced Auto or O'Reilly. I even did these, the forward emblems on the back as well. You see, I got a paint chip right, right there. That's because the glue had no seek, um, came through, and right here as well. But it looked real good. I did the front. See the front right here, because you know, obviously, you hit a lot more debris hitting the front of it, so it chipped a little bit. And I also didn't put it. Oh, I also didn't put a good clear coat on here because. I will recommend don't get the perfect match clear coat. It's really not good at all. See if you can find a better clear coat. And um, I think it'd be fine if you can put a good clear coat on it. Lastly, this is the thing that a lot of people tend to talk about is removing the air dam, the lower valence, whatever the hell you want to call it. Remove the damn air dam. You probably only really lose like two miles per gallon if that like that's what I lost I had made a video but I never ended up posting it um, I forgot to post it to be honest uh, once I took my air dam off um, like I said it really didn't make that much of a difference it was like I probably lost like one or two miles per gallon yeah I went from like 20 to 18 to 19 somewhere and that just all depending on how fast I was driving and it looks a lot better without it like you can't tell me that this truck will look will look good with that damn air dam on there like I hated it I don't know I can't believe I left it on that long to be honest with you I should have bended as soon as I got the truck but guys that's all I have for you I just want to make a quick video on three easy not three but guys that's all I have for you I just want to make a quick video on um, 
some few mods that you can do to your truck for free. Um, like I say, the, the other um, mod where you paint to match the emblems, you have to go uh, buy some can of paint. It's only like five, not five dollars, it's only like ten, ten dollars I believe somewhere in there. Go buy a can of that and you'll be good to go. Uh, you'll spend less than $25 on the paint. So get you that and you'll be good. But on that note, man, I'll catch y'all on another one. Uh, y'all take it easy.